Hello and welcome to Anyone Can Animate in 20 Minutes. This course focuses on creating simple animation using Adobe Flash as an animation tool. Adobe Flash can be used as a tool for many different purposes. It can be used for creating websites, games, e-learning contents, and for creating cartoon animation. In this lecture, we will quickly learn just enough tools and options in Flash in order to create a very simple cartoon animation. We will not be creating any animation film or character animation, but this will be a guide for anyone who just want to understand how to create animation in Flash. Okay, so let's begin with Flash. Once we open Flash, we are being greeted with this welcome screen from where we can create a new document or we can open an existing document. I'll click on Action Script 3 in order to create a new Flash document. So this white area that we have here is our work area where we will be creating our drawings. The left side we have our toolbox and down in the bottom we have our timeline. For this lecture we will just learn two different tools. One is our brush tool and the other one is eraser tool. Brush tool helps us to create drawings and eraser helps us to erase those drawings if you make a mistake. So let's look at the options that we have for our brush tool. If I click on brush tool I will get some extra options down here. So with the help of this we can adjust the size of the brush meaning that if I keep it low then I'll get very thin strokes and if I keep them thick I can get very thick strokes. I would like to keep it somewhere in the middle. Now the easiest way to erase whatever you have created is to press Control is it that is undo but let's say for example you've created three lines and you want to erase the middle one without erasing the last one. If I use undo it will erase the last one and then it will erase the previous one. So I'll just redo those couple of steps by pressing Control Y. So we have the three lines. Now if I just want to erase this line in the middle, all I can do is go to the eraser tool and then just erase that particular line. Now we can also erase parts of lines. For example, I can erase just this much or a little bit here and a little bit here. So with the help of the brush tool and eraser tool combination, we can create all kinds of drawings that we want. Before we create our animation, let's first find out and understand what animation is. Animation has the following definition. It's defined as the illusion of movement created by showing a series of images in a brief period of time. To understand this definition, let's focus on three different points. One is illusion of movement, which means that animation is not a real movement, it is an illusion of movement. Now this illusion of movement will be created with the help of number of images. That's what mentioned as series of images. And these series of images should be shown in a brief period of time, which means that we have to show approximately 24 pictures, 24 drawings in one second. So let me show you uh, an example here. So here's the uh, animation of a small boy walking. So he's walking forward. As you can see, the first picture shows the boy with his right leg in the back and the left leg forward. And so right hand in the front and left hand in the back. So if I go to the next drawing, you can see that he's just moving one step. So his back leg, which was the right leg, just moves up and the left leg just stays in the same place. And if I go to the next frame, that is the next drawing, you can see that the left leg, sorry, right leg that was in the back comes exactly in the center. And you can also notice that the hands also comes to the same place. And the next one, the right leg that was in the back now comes forward. And in the next one, the right leg goes forward and the left leg stays back. So these are the different images which finally makes up the complete animation. Okay, so this is about 17 drawings that we have here, which will create one second of animation. And this animation duration also depends on what is the frame rate that we are using, which we call as frames per second, which is mentioned here as FPS. By default, Flash uses 24 frames per second, which means that if you want to create one second of animation, you need to have 24 different drawings. Drawings in Flash are called as frames. One frame means one drawing. Well, there are three different kinds of frames that we have in Flash. The first one is a keyframe, 
second one is a blank keyframe, and the third one is a frame. A keyframe will contain a drawing inside, and it's denoted with this icon, a filled up circle or a black circle. A blank keyframe is a potential holder of a drawing, but it is empty. It doesn't have any drawings, which is denoted with this white circle. And a frame can either look like this or look like this. If you have a number of frames, the last frame will be denoted with this rectangle and all the other frames will be blank. A frame takes its content from its previous keyframe. So if I have a keyframe here and the frame will have the same content that was there in the keyframe. If I modify the content of the keyframe, the frame will also change. So with this understanding, let's get started in creating our drawing. So first animation that I'm going to do is a text animation. So I'll go to File, New. I can take either Action Script 2 or 3. It's not going to make any difference. So I'll start by creating a line. So I'll just draw from top. So this is just the first drawing that I've made. I'll go to the next keyframe. I'll have to create a blank keyframe or I can also create a keyframe. I'll press F6 in order to create a keyframe. So it shows the existing content and I'm just going to draw a little further. I'll press F6 once again and continue to draw. I'll press F6 once again. I'll draw here. F6, connecting it. F6, I'll draw like so. F6, I'll draw that. F6, one more. F6 and then going down, F6 down, F6 final. I'll press F6 once again. I'm going to write further. F6, 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 and then I'm going to continue here. F6, 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 F6. So I've written two letters. So you can see that it creates an animation like so. So let's say I'll continue to draw F6. Okay, L. I'll continue to draw. Uh, I don't have enough space for my O, so I'll just draw it here. So now if I play this back, you can see that I've created a very simple text animation, something like a handwriting animation. Like this, we can create lots and lots of different types of animation. Say for example, I'll take a new layer here, I'll hide my existing one, I'll start from here, fresh. So I'll start from the center, press F6 again, go on, go on, go on. Now, unfortunately, we have to stop every single line in order to go to the new keyframe. Otherwise, we can make more smooth, good-looking results. I think that's enough. So if I play that back, you can see that I've created this nice uh, concentric circle kind of animation. Now that we have created simple animation, let's make an animation of a plant growing. So in this animation, you can see that every single frame is slightly different compared to the previous one, which means that every single frame is being drawn separately, meaning that it is not a continuation of the previous drawing. So this takes a little bit more time and a little bit more uh, drawing skills. So let's begin by creating a new document. I'll go to File, New, Say OK. So I'm going to start from frame number one. I'll choose my brush tool, change the color to green. Now keep in mind we're going to use multiple colors in this uh, animation. So you have to be careful about which color you have chosen because you will have to choose the same color again. So I'll choose this green for now to start. I'll keep the brush size to be something like that. A little thicker, not too thin. 
I'll start the first drawing from here. So just a small dot. I'll go to the next keyframe. Now in the previous example, we used F6 in order to create a new keyframe. While using F6, it will create a keyframe with the existing content in the previous keyframe. But this time, I'm going to create a blank keyframe, that is F7. So if I press F7, it creates me a blank keyframe, which means that the content that was there in the previous picture is not here in the second frame. So we have to create the second frame completely fresh. While doing this, we might have a small confusion of where was the previous drawing. To see the previous drawing in this uh, current drawing, we have an option called Onion Skin in Flash. If I turn on the Onion Skin down here, it will show a small preview of the previous frame. So from there, I can actually draw the next drawing. I'll press F7 once again in order to create a third keyframe now. So I'll continue drawing this a little bit more. Okay, press F7 once again, draw further, press F7 once again, continue on, press F7, continue drawing. Now the only difference is we're drawing the uh, new frames from the beginning. I'll press F7 once again, I'll continue drawing. So I've got a leaf coming out here. F7. Now it doesn't matter if even if your drawing does not go exactly through the same previous uh, drawing, uh, it really doesn't matter. Press F7 once again. If you make a mistake, you can always undo that and draw it again. So I'll start to have a small leaf here. Okay, and I'll start to have the second leaf coming out. F7. Continue drawing and like so. Sometimes one of your drawings might not look as you expect. Uh, no need to bother too much about that because while we're playing like 20 frames, it doesn't really matter if one frame is having slight mistake. The audience may not notice it. Unless you have a lot of time and patience, you can correct every single mistake. So I'll continue drawing like so. I'll press F7 and from the next keyframe I can start to have a small uh, flower coming up here. So continue drawing like so. So now I'm making this leaf bigger. You can also change the position of the leaf a little bit higher if you want. I think this looks too thick. I can take my eraser tool, just erase that out and I can draw again. This onion skin is a really nice tool that helps us to see the previous uh, frame so that we can actually make accurate decisions of, of where to draw the next. So I can start to have the flower coming here, so I can change the color to red. So I'll put a small line there. So I can start like so, press F7, and I'll go back to green. So I'll continue to draw that. So there our leaf comes out. Now this leaf can be a bit more bigger. Okay. And I'll turn this to red again. Make this a little big. Okay, F7 once again. Change the color to green. Make sure that you always use the same green, otherwise the final result may not look nice. Whenever you make a mistake, always press F uh, undo in order to correct that. Nice. I'll change the color to red. Okay. OK, 
Okay, something like that. F7, change the color to green again. That's light green. We'll make it dark green. Okay. Okay, something like that. Just make the leaf and this leaf also go a little bit outside. Now, even if the thickness of the leaves are slightly changing, it's not a problem because it, it would look as if it's just moving uh, through the wind. Okay, so I'll just make this. I'm going to have a five petaled flower, so something like that. Okay, press F7 once again and change the color to green. I'm trying to show this S shape. Just continue drawing. Okay. Good enough. I'll choose red color. And I'm just going to have flat. So I've got like one, two, three, four petals, and then I'll have one here. And when I when the petals opens up, I can show a little bit of yellowish color inside just to show the flower. I can pick yellow color from here. I'll just put a couple of dots. Make this a bit thinner. Put one, two, three, four, five dots, like so. And uh, the next can be the last frame. Press F7 and I'll choose, uh, choose green color, make this thicker, and start to draw that, and okay, I can also fast forward this in order to make it more <laughs> interesting, otherwise it's kind of boring. Select that, and I can have all the five petals show up right now. One, two, three, four, and five. So we can actually fill this up a little bit. Okay. Okay, and I can have these uh, yellow dots in the center. I can make this thickness less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And I think that looks good. Let me play that back. You can see that comes up. Now you can see that the animation is too fast. I'll have to slow it down. So I'll go to the beginning, I'll add uh, in-between keyframes, I'll have to press F5 to create an uh, in-between frame, and I will use the greater than symbol to go to, the, to navigate to the next keyframe, I'll press F5 once again, greater than symbol, F5, greater than symbol, F5, greater than symbol, F5, and I'll continue doing that uh, throughout this animation, so I will end up with some 34 or 32 frames. Now once you've created your animation, you can go to File and Save your document. You can give a name to that. For example, I'll name this as uh, My Animation FLA. So Flash actually gives us this FLA file and if you press Control Enter, it will export it as a SWF file. So SWF file is the uh, movie file and FLA file is the document file. So this concludes the crash course on anyone can animate in 20 minutes. Thank you very much.